like, comment, share the videos and subscribe Academic Mind. Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel Academic Mind. Today we are going to talk about how to write notes. As you all know, writing notes is one of the compulsory questions in O-level English language paper. So, let's discuss how to write a note properly. First of all, we need to understand what a note is. So, what is a note? A note is a personal piece of writing. When you are writing notes, you have to write the message very briefly. So we can say a note is a short written message. Then to whom are you writing notes? Especially when we write notes, we need to write them to familiar people. That means for the people that we uh, already know. Uh, that person can be one of your friends, relatives or someone that you know really well. And when you are writing a note, you need to remember that note is not a letter. Only the necessary points need to be included in a note. So let's look at the structure of a note. What are the main components of a note? You can see here an example note. The first component is date. So when you write the date, you have to write the date first, then the month and the year. Then what is the next component? Here you can see receiver's name. So you have to write the receiver's name. The person who receives this note is called receiver. Then you can write the message. We call that body of the note. Finally, we have to write the sender's name. That means the person who writes this note or the person who sends this note to someone is called uh, the sender. So let's read out the note given here. You all can read with me. Madhavi, my brother has bought four tickets to see an art exhibition in Lionel Bend. It will be held on 26th July from 9 a.m. Would you like to join with your younger sister? Please send me a message as soon as possible. Dilhara. Now, when you read this note, children, all of you can understand that we need to include only the relevant information there. Unnecessary information need to be avoided. So let's look at the components one more time. The first one is the date, then receiver's name, body of the note, and finally the sender's name. Let's look at the facts that we need to consider when writing a note. So here also the same note you can see with the components. Let's see the first point to be considered. So children, when you write the receiver's name, avoid salutation. No need to write dear Madhavi, dear aunt like that. You can omit the salutation. But remember, definitely you need to use the comma after the name of the receiver. So after Madhavi, you can see the comma is placed here. Then what is the next uh, thing you need to consider? So you can see many facts. What is the first one? Informal language. Now remember, informal language in the sense is not slang language. You can use polite way to express yourself through the note. Always remember to use simple and clear expressions 
using informal way of writing and also you have to write the message to the point that means briefly you have to mention the message that you want to deliver and then what are the other two facts yes you can use contracted forms means short forms and finally you can see the next point you can use common abbreviation in a note then the next point to be considered is when you are writing the sender's name before that no need to mention complimentary clause so avoid complimentary clause so if it is a letter normally we use your loving friend your faithfully your sincerely but remember in a note you should not use any complimentary clause so let's talk about the marking criteria of a note so now you can see here content language these are the two elements that will be considered when marking a note so for content you will receive two marks for language three marks and total marks for the note is five so when we talk about the content remember if all the points are included in your note definitely you can get the full marks for the content that will be two marks if most of the points are included you will be received one mark and remember if you have copied the same question or if the uh, information that you have mentioned in the note is totally irrelevant then sorry no marks then for language if there are no errors that means almost no errors if there are well connected sentences if the spellings and the punctuation everything is properly done definitely three marks will be given for language then two marks will be awarded if there are some errors even though with uh, some well connected sentences Uh, and also if there are some errors in spelling and punctuation you will receive only two marks and if there are only a few correct sentences you will get one mark and if all the sentences are incorrect zero mark so i hope all of you can get five marks for this question if you follow the correct format of writing notes so let's write a reply note now so you can see the same question that i have uh, discussed with you so how can we write a reply note for this now always remember when we write a reply note you have to change the names of the receiver and sender in your reply note and also in the body of the note carefully read and understand what is the information that the sender wants to deliver to you according to that you have to organize your reply so let's look at the answer so you can see children here i have mentioned the date then the name of the receiver then the body of the note so in the body of the note we have to express our idea about the note that i or the person has received let's look at that you can read with me Dilhara I would love to join with you to see the art exhibition Unfortunately my sister won't be able to join on 26th as she has an exam You can ask any other friend to join instead of my sister I'll be there 
at your place at about 8.30 a.m. Thank you for asking me to join, Madhavi. Now, in this note, you can understand how the language expressions are used clearly and in a simple manner uh, using informal way of writing style. So, always check whether the sentences are in proper way, uh, that means without any grammatical error, spelling error. Now here in the first sentence, you can see, I would love to join with you to see the art exhibition. According to the note received, someone is asking you to join an event. So if you would like to join an event, express your desire to join uh, with that person for that particular event. So what is the language pattern, the structure you can use for that? I would love to join. So that is a kind of a warm welcome is there with that sentence. And in the second sentence, you can see, unfortunately, my sister won't be able to join on 26th as she has an exam. So if you want to tell someone that uh, somebody now, according to this answer, that the sister won't be able to join. So how can you smoothly express that idea without hurting that person? Unfortunately, use a good adverb, beautiful words when you write your answer. So if you use adverbs, adjectives, it can enhance the quality of your answer. And also here when you provide a reason for not taking part in this event, here you can see how the reason is mentioned uh, very smoothly as she has an exam. So the sentence is joined with the connective. You can ask any other friend to join instead of my sister. So you can provide a kind of a suggestion as well. And finally, you can see the last sentence, thank you for asking me to join. So that is also a kind of polite way to connect with uh, the uh, sender of the note, right? So I think you got a brief idea on how to write notes today. So always consider the main points you have to Think when you are writing a note. Even though you will get five marks for this uh, question, uh, that is uh, very important to add those five marks to the total marks of the English language paper. So it's not so difficult if you follow the correct pattern. So watch the video and um, practice yourself on how to write notes and. Uh, comment uh, what you like to share with us too. So keep uh, watching us. Thank you for joining.